Hi, this is Kim Fiend, and uh, I'm going to do a tutorial on a plugin called MathMap. Now, uh, how you install it, I don't know for for Windows. Um, I just went to the MathMap website and just downloaded the package because um, I'm running Ubuntu. Uh, I'll put a link to the website in the comments. Uh, and what MathMap allows you to do is things like this. Uh, so, this is how I did this. Just going to quickly go to Layer, Transparency, Add Alpha Channel, go to the Scissor Select tool, and I'm just going to quickly in here. And press the delete. Okay. Now uh, when you install MathMap, it appears and uh, filters generic MathMap, and you can apply all these things here. We can go down to the MathMap tab, it brings up this window here. So you go to filters, the same, these are the same options again, but you have more settings. We can see the preview as it happens. So I'm going to go to Map. And I think it's pronounced Drost, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to select that. And you go to User Values tab, and you can start playing with all these values. Press the default button. We'll set it back to what it was. Ah, okay, I know what I've done wrong. I'm going to cancel that. I still had my selection here, so I'm going to shift control A to clear my selection. Go back to filters. Generic map map math map math map down the bottom filters uh, map okay that looks better this time so I'm going to user values and uh, there's the ones to play with generally inner radius outer radius uh, x shift y shift x center shift y center shift uh, starting levels, number of levels. <coughs> if your computer is a bit slow, you can turn off the auto preview here. So if you make a change, then you can just click on the preview when you're ready to, to view it. But I'll put that back on. So it's just a matter of experimenting. zoom in a bit uh, and the number of levels is the number of sort of um, I guess income can, uh, number of levels going down so if we just reduce that a bit you can see it coming up as I reduce it
go. And I can rotate that round. Actually, I'll just leave that in default and go OK. And uh, there you have it. There's um, loads of things you can do with MathBat. Uh, I've only just found it recently, so I'm still learning it. But uh, here's one of the things you can do. This is Gimpfind. Thank you for watching.